Welcome Digital Trailblazers. I'm Erica Gregory and welcome to the Digital Trailblazer Success Path podcast where we feature up and coming online entrepreneurs and see how they're beginning their journey and walk them through their first steps to building and growing a successful online business from the start. In today's episode we have Taylor Allen. Welcome Taylor. Thanks for being here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you for having me. Um, I started my online journey uh, right around my early 20s. I you know, kind of had a true like reality shake, I guess you could call it. I was working in corporate, you know, um, retail and I got, I walked in one day and I got let go. And Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that like people didn't um, base their identity off of their jobs. So it's like, I I was totally like shook. And so I say that that's when I like started my own like entrepreneur journey um, was in my early 20s. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so I walked in, they let me go and my world was just like rocked upside down. And I went into like a really dark place. Cause I didn't know that, you know, you could have, you know, you extracurricular activities and you could, you know, go out to dinner with friends and, and on a Wednesday, it, like I thought it was like, my job was my identity. So my dad sent me, um, thriving through uncertainty by Tammy Akeves. Um, so if you haven't read it, I would suggest it, but it's basically just like, life does not go as planned. And I, ever since reading that book, it was like, you are, life is very uncertain. You never know, you know, what could happen when you walk out of the door or, you know, you never know what phone call you could get. So it is very, um, it's a very inspiring book because it's, you realize that a lot of people are, are going through uncertain times in their lives for their entire life. Um, Mm -hmm. That's when I realized like your, your whole identity is not your job. Um, you can make your job be, you know, a really great asset to your, your individual self. Um, but you working for a corporation doesn't make you who you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. So what is it that you are doing now in your entrepreneurial journey? Um, I own a creative consulting agency and we specialize in web design, branding, and just small business consulting. Awesome. So how did you um, end up in that world? So like I said, I was working in retail and I always tell the story of thriving through uncertainty and I started freelance styling um, in Dallas. Yeah. So my dream was to be a, you know, to style hair, makeup um, for runway shows. Mm Mm-hmm. So when I graduated uh, college, I'm actually a graduate of Purdue University in Indiana. Mm -hmm. Um, I like to call myself, well, I am a beauty school dropout, fun fact about me. Um, So I went to Paul Mitchell for hair and makeup, and I thought that that was like going to be my my way. And I soon realized that was not the way, Um, but I did kind of gravitate towards personal styling and that kind of thing. But Mm -hmm. when... COVID started to happen, I was like, this is scary. Um, Nobody's really going to go into brick and mortar anymore. You know, people were buying their diapers online. They were going, you know, they were using subscription boxes and stuff like that. So I was like, I have to get ahead of this. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I need to learn how to build websites and I need how to build them well and different. So that's when I kind of started my own agency and I, I kind of took it to the next level And I was only kind of chasing after retail because I was like, I I really feel like nobody was going to go in brick and mortar anymore. Um, But yeah, then I kind of dove into different, you know, industries. So now I work with all different kinds of business owners from, you know, mental health to surf instructors. um, And yeah, that's where I am today. Awesome. So you're completely self-taught in this arena. Yes. Yes. I have. um, I, I cannot totally say that I did this all by myself. Like I I have such an, the entrepreneur community is so incredible. I always say, you know, it does take a village. So I I lean on people all the time. Um, But yeah, self-taught in the, you know, digital landscape, 100%. Cool. So um, as you are building out these websites, what are some of the things that you are focused on and are most important for your clients to have as a part of their brand? 
Absolutely. Um, so you kind of just answered the question um, with <laughs> branding. I, you know, people come to me and they say, I would love a build. I would love for you to build me a website. And I kind of, my first question is, all right, what does your branding look like? Mm -hmm. People think of a website and that's their full online identity. Um, but it really boils down to what is branding. So branding is, um, you know, your fonts, your colors, your logo, your brand mantra. So with that, you know, it does take a full, you know, full blown brand kit to develop a website. And that's mm -hmm. something that I stress to business owners. It's like, if you don't know what your branding is, you don't know what vibe you want your website to be, or you don't know what your audience that you want to go after or your, you know, who you want to capture for your Instagram demographic. Um, mm -hmm. So I would say branding is, you know, website 101. So if you don't have a brand kit, start there and then go to your website. Awesome. Um, what is a brand kit? So a brand kit is, I, I call it like a business hack. It's if you are, you know, setting up your social media grid for the month and you are, you're totally lost, totally overwhelmed, which most business owners are, they have a million other things to do. The last thing they want to do is their social media. Um, all they have to do is go to their brand kit and they'll be, the work will be done for them. They know their mm -hmm. color templates. They know their fonts. They know their aesthetic. They know, you know, I can plop in my logo here and I can um, plop in my, you know, my other brand mantra here where it's spelled out versus just a picture. So the brand kit is literally just a business hack of when you're feeling uninspired or you don't know what logo to use or what font to use, go to your brand kit. The hard work is already done for you there. Um, and then it just alleviates a ton of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are some of the fun projects that you've been able to do? And um, like from start to finish, what was that that journey like, that transformation like for your client? Uh, the, the most recent client that I had is actually a very, very interesting client. I'm sure many of you um, have heard of this client. They are uh, NBC, Universal, and Bravo. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I actually just did, there's a huge event called BravoCon, and we, there's around, oh my gosh, 24,000 people that go every year, and it was just recently in Vegas, and I did the entire website and mobile application for BravoCon. Cool. Um, yes, so it was a very long project. We started working on it in March, and the event was in um, November, mm -hmm. but, you know, NBC and Bravo, Bravo especially, has such a specific brand identity. You know, they know their audience so well. They know these women and men that are their biggest cheerleaders, and they cater to that audience so well. Um, I'm sure you guys have all heard the analogy of it is, you know, the woman's Super Bowl. Yeah. And <laughs> they play on that. And it is just such a, a phenomenal example of what a brand is a brand identity. Um, they know their clients so well. So, you know, when I would say I need an image for this, this header, or I need a picture for this, it's like, they would give me thousands of images and yes, you know, they're a fortune 500 company. So their assets are, you know, um, yeah. but, um, it's, it's just nice to work with a project, you know, from beginning to end with a company that knows their branding. So it yeah. comes to, you know, once again, knowing your branding, knowing your audience. And so it was really cool to work on that from beginning to end because I saw it from we were doing original concepts for the website in, you know, the three different landing pages. And then I got to go to the event in November, see people in person, see these cool. celebrities that I've um, only seen on TV before. And that was a pretty cool experience. I bet that was really cool. Yeah. Um how are you finding your clients? What marketing strategies are working for you? Absolutely. That's a great question. And I think that's like a very daunting question as a business owner. You know, the the, the train of thought just always goes to what do, where do I find clients? What do I do? So I, I really, really, really had a hard time with networking. And it was, it's, it's difficult to get up and front of people or meet someone and kind of like talk about your business or talk about what you do. And it took me a while to get over that. So 
for um, late 2023, early 2024, um, I really set a goal for myself to just network, network, network. So I joined networking groups. I joined podcast communities. I joined um, just like little little meetups around San Diego and virtual meetups. And it was the, the response was incredible. Um, I just, I started getting, you know, random people, like, like I mentioned, I kind of am working my way into all different kinds of industries. So I would get, you know, a recent contact that I got was a restaurant owner and, um, I, I live in San Diego. So the surf and skate community is huge here, but it, it was very, very challenging at first. Yeah. And just, it's putting yourself out there and really knowing your product, you know, mm-hmm. it's hard to sell something that isn't tangible. Like I said, I used to be in retail, so I would, you know, sell a suit, sell a pair of shoes, sell a designer handbag. And now it's, I have to let my work speak for itself. So it is a little bit more difficult to communicate and, you know, say, you're going to get these results. You're going to get more customers. You're going to get referrals. Um, without, you know, whipping out my laptop and showing it to someone, but it is, it all boils down to, you know, making new genuine connections and, and growing on those. Yeah, absolutely. What, what is next for you and your business? Uh, this is a really fun question. I have always really, really had a passion for customer success. I did my internship, um, in Nordstrom when Mm -hmm. I was, 17 years old. Um, and I, ever since then, I just have had like this knack for client success. And I just, you know, if someone is going to spend a penny with a company, especially when the dollar is so hard to come by now, you know, people work so hard for their money. Um, they better have a good experience when they spend that, when that month, when they spend their money. Um, so we are offering, um, business owners, client success training. Um, I'm, you know, having a couple trial runs with restaurant owners in the area because we're seeing a lot of, you know, poor Yelp reviews or people that are just like, so over going out to eat and spending a ton of money on, you know, really good wine and really good food. And and then they just have terrible service. There's nothing worse. Um, so we are doing a customer success training, um, and it's a fully built out, like module business owners are really excited about it. They're, they're, you know, we get them excited about their website and their branding, but then for them to see like their, their repeat customers re-engaged in the business and coming back and telling people about it because of the good customer success experience they had. Um, that's the new part of our business that I'm really excited about. Awesome. When's that, uh, starting for you? So we're in, like I said, trial kind of Mm -hmm. uh, modules right now, but it is, you know, fully up and running on the website and you can um, fill out a questionnaire about it, you know, where you are in your business and yeah, we're ready to launch uh, as soon as people are ready to take us on. Awesome. That's so exciting. Um, Taylor, where can people find more about your business? So I have a full website, um, shows our different services. Um, that's www.thetacagency.com, T-H-E-T-A-C agency.com. Um, also, we have Instagram. We have um, email, Taylor at the TAC Agency. I am fully all over Facebook and Instagram. So very, very easy to get in contact with me. Wonderful. Well, thank you for being here and sharing your story and all of your wisdom with us today. Um, There will be links to everything that Taylor mentioned in the description of this video. So definitely go check her out. Thanks again for chatting. I've had a lot of fun. Thank you.